Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming a newborn essentials slash postpartum essentials video and also a few of the items that I spent money on that I probably would not repurchase for a next baby. But now that she's officially out of the newborn stage, I feel like I can finally make this video. I've been talking about filming it forever and today I'm finally doing that. Everything I talk about is gonna be linked down in the description box below. I'll probably link it all individually and I'll also link my whole Amazon on storefront. Oh shoot, I just knocked over my water bottle. Way to go, mom. Was that silly? Huh? Um what was I saying? But I'll also have my Amazon storefront linked as well. So you can just go <laughs> to one spot and see everything else that we've purchased. Also, I am just gonna be reading off the list of things on my phone because I'm not gonna be showing like majority of the things because that would take another like one month to like round up everything to show you guys. And this room would be a disaster. And I finally feel like I've kind of got it a little bit clean. <laughs> but anyway, we got a lot of stuff to go through. So grab a snack, grab a drink, buckle up and let's get to it. I tried to put these in order as best as I can from like different categories but if they're a little scattered just you know whatever I'm a new mom. So I'll start off with newborn essentials and then we'll go to postpartum but the first thing is our baby lounger and I will say I cannot find this lounger on Amazon anymore. I don't know if it's been recalled or if it's been like just taken off or whatever but really any sort of lounger I recommend. My sister has the snuggle me. This one is not the snuggle me but it was like significantly way cheaper and it's way bigger but I hear Docatot is really good which I'm actually looking into getting one of those because I feel like it grows with them a lot longer and she loves being in that thing so I want one that can really age with her so any lounger will do we love to put it on the couch when we're out there or just like lay it in our bed while we're doing things and she just loves it and our changing pad I think it's called the the skip plus hop I love it it's like very aesthetic and it's neutral it looks like it would be like a firm hard like material but it's actually super squishy and soft i love changing her on it we do just put a blanket over it because sometimes it gets cold and she literally hates being cold that's the only time she like cries but other than that it's like a great changing table next we have a diaper pail it is just so convenient to have a diaper pail right next to the changing table it's behind me so you can't see it but this honestly is just like so easy you just throw the diaper in there and then once it gets full you take out the bag and you take it out with the trash highly recommend a diaper pail it's so good you tired? and then the next thing is a diaper caddy and i love this thing that we have i originally got it to like take from room to room when we're in the living room or if we're in here or if we're in our bed Bedroom, but it honestly has just stayed on our bed the whole time and it's so nice to have on our bed in the middle of the night for easy diaper changes and stuff like that like it literally doesn't leave our bed it's like small so it doesn't get in the way and it's very aesthetic so it doesn't like stand out or anything when the bed is made it's got a few different compartments in it and I, we keep her wipes in there her diapers her lotion her hairbrush which don't look at her hair we need to brush it it's so crazy all the time Huh, you had the craziest hair. And then her nail file kit and just like different bird cloths and stuff. So it holds a lot. Next is diapers. I really wasn't gonna put like these on the list because obviously they're essential. A newborn needs diapers, but I just really love the diapers that we have. They're the Millie Moon ones. I'm hungry. Oh, way to go, sis. Way to go. Oh, way, way over here. Okay sister got hungry so we're feeding her but the only place that you can get these in stores I think is Target um, but they also sell them on Amazon and I love these baby diapers because they're super affordable and they are a more clean diaper brand and they are so freaking soft like the difference that I feel between these diapers and the Pampers Swaddlers which is the ones that we used before and I really like those I just want a more clean brand because obviously she's got really sensitive baby skin but yeah they're just super feathery soft and they also are very comparable to coterie i believe which is a very expensive very highly rated diaper brand but yeah millie moon are just way more affordable and then the wipes that we use we love the honest wipes and we also like the pampers sensitive wipes they just 
work really well for her skin. We tried the Huggies All Natural Wipes and they gave her a rash. So do not recommend those. And I've heard a lot of other people comment on my video saying that the Huggies wipes gave their babies a rash too. So that's why I just wanted to mention the Honest Wipes and the Pampers Sensitive Wipes. They're great and work for her. Next, the burp cloths that we use are these right here. They're the muslin burp cloths. These are so good. We have a whole pack of the purple ones. Obviously her whole room is purple. So I had to get the purple ones. And then we have a whole pack of the white ones and we just love them they like absorb so much they're soft highly recommend these next for bottles we use the what do we use <laughs> i think we use the phillips advent let me see yeah we use the Philips Advent Anti-Colic Baby Bottles. I really like these because they help with pushing the air to the top of the bottle instead of them sucking in the air. So it's good for like if you have a colic baby, it's just easier on their stomach, I feel like. And then one thing that I am so glad that I got is a baby drying rack. And one that's like vertical versus like lays flat against the counter because it just saves so much space. I literally have this full like all the time because I'm always washing either my pump parts or her bottle or pacifiers or just something so it's always getting used and I love it and then to go along with that is the bottle brush that I got it works so nice to get all the bottles clean and stuff like that and inside of the brush at the bottom you can pull out a little tiny brush to like really get inside the nipples and pacifiers and stuff it's like just so so good I actually have two different brushes and this is the one that I recommend I'm not a big fan of the other one that I have so definitely check this one out and next I feel like I have to recommend this every single time I talk about like nursing or pumping or sleeping or feeding or changing or anything. Um, it's the app that I use to like keep track of when she eats and stuff. I'm actually using it right now. It's called the baby feed timer. I love it because it just like does all the work for me. It remembers when she eats last. It tells me when she's expected to eat again next. I can keep track on how long she eats on every side. You can log diaper changes. You can log when you pumped last. You can log bottles, sleep, when you give a medicine, their temperature, a growth chart. It has a timeline. It has analytics for everything. It's just such a good app. I think I paid $10 for it and I would recommend it to any mom. It's so good. Definitely worth the $10. So I literally use it every single time she eats. I feel like it's just my brain. Like I don't have to think about when was the last time I fed her and how much did I feed her and when is she going to eat next? Like it's just all right here. It does the math for me. You obviously can change all the settings yourself. I think I have it right now. She typically eats every two and a half to three hours so it reminds me every two and a half hours and it's great love it and then next for a sterilizer we just use a little microwave sterilizer it works perfect for us it literally sterilizes in two minutes it's like not as big as other sterilizers I don't feel like but we honestly don't go through a lot of bottles because she only uses one bottle a day right now and she only does that so that I can get a good pump session so I can build up a supply in the fridge or the freezer so yeah this sterilizer is super easy to use. So I would recommend this one. And for pacifiers, she loves these pacifiers. I honestly don't even, oh, they're the Dr. Brown's pacifiers. They look like the nipple of the bottle and they're silicone, which I love. There's no plastic to them, but she loves these. I honestly didn't even get these expecting to have her use them. I just grabbed these from Walmart when we were gonna put together Jared's parents' box to surprise them and tell them that we were expecting. But yeah, I just gave it to her one day and she loves it. Like I've got her three different pacifiers. The ones I got first were like dental hygienist approved and she just does not like those ones. I want her to take those, but she doesn't like them. But the other kind that she really likes, I don't have it here with me. I think there's one in her crib over there, but it's the Philip Advent ones. So those are the ones she like took the first few weeks and then I just recently started with these a few weeks ago and she just is obsessed with them. She'll still take the Philips Advent ones, but just not the ones that I want her to take, which these are fine too, but I'm gonna link all three just in case your baby will take them because literally every single baby is different with what they'll take. So check those out. And then the gas drops we love and also gripe water. We honestly don't give this to her much anymore. The first like month we gave 
her the gas drops quite a bit because you could tell she was like just very gassing so we really liked the gas drops we used the gripe water a little bit i thought i was going to use it way more because my cousins like lived off of gripe water um but honestly after a month we haven't really given much to her but those i feel like are very <laughs> essential for like the first like month of their life some babies need it even longer you know next i'm definitely going to recommend the hatch machine i love our hatch it's actually a hatch for kids um but we keep it in our room obviously since she's sleeping in our room still this is so handy in the middle of the night for like changes because it has a setting where you can just do like a night light on there it you know has the time it has so many different like sounds that you can put it on we usually put it on just like a rain sound with a little night light on there you can also adjust the light to how like bright or like dim you want it just so handy for like changing in the middle of the night or nursing because you can put it on like not a bright light and it's not gonna like wake up my husband in the middle of the night and it's easy to leave on so like I can lean over and look at her to make sure she's still breathing because that happens a lot especially like when she first started sleeping in her bassinet that was just a rough patch for me uh, but we're good now <laughs> he's that funny to you it's that funny <laughs> But yeah, definitely once we move her over into her own room, we're definitely moving the hatch over and I'm definitely getting a hatch for our room because I love it so much. Oh, you're so happy. Next is the baby shirt and I swear by this thing. Brecklin will literally fall asleep like instantly to this thing. It's almost like it like hypnotizes her or something. Like she loves the baby shirt and it's like so convenient whoever invented this thing is a genius because instead of like us just having to sit there and go shh, 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 shh. it's the machine that literally just does it for us it's super small and compact so you can like travel with it and take it anywhere or put it in your diaper bag the only thing about it is it only runs for 30 minutes you have to like restart it every 30 minutes i wish it like just you could run it permanently but other than that it's just the best thing ever. I highly recommend this one. Next for like things for her to sleep in, I highly recommend any double zipped sleeper. These are so nice. I know there's a lot of different brands that make them, but some of our favorite brands are the Cloud Island. Those are literally the softest material sleepers that we have, but it's nice for especially changing in the middle of the night. One zipper's at the top, one zipper's at the bottom, so you really just have to unzip to like their waist. You don't have to zip all the way down. If you were to have one zipper and like their whole chest be exposed and stuff to the cold, it's just so nice to just have that extra zipper. We have a ton of these sleepers and I just, I live by them. They're so nice. And then next is our side sleeper bassinet. This thing is just I love it. I love our bassinet so much. It's from Papablic. I actually did a sponsored video with them for it. I don't know if my code is still active, but I'll leave it here so you can try if you want to get some money off, but it is so nice. It's like a four-in-one bassinet. It is a bassinet, a side sleeper, a play yard, and also you can make it a rocker. It is so good. I love the side sleeper, how it just like literally pushes up right next to my side of the bed and I feel like I'm literally just sleeping right beside her. Love that bassinet. <laughs> next we have swaddles and sleep sacks. She literally is in a swaddle anytime that we put her down to sleep. We don't swaddle her for like contact naps or anything like that but if I put her down for a nap in her crib she's in her arms up swaddle she really loves to sleep with her arms up especially like for nap time but like for like sleeping in the bassinet at night I usually do a swaddle that like has her arms down which sometimes she's not the biggest fan of I'm gonna be honest sometimes she will fight and get her arms up but most of the nights it's pretty good um, I just have a bunch of swaddles that I got off of Amazon and I also have the dreamland baby weighted sleep sack I love Love it she I don't know if it's the biggest fan of it yet it all is dependent on baby so this one could go into my newborn essentials or it could go into the little list of things that I kind of regret buying because it is the most expensive sleep sack that we have it was like 85 90 ish bucks um, and we've only used it a handful of times but I'm hoping that once she gets a little bigger, she'll start to use it more just because I love how it's weighted and it like really keeps her like level because I swear the day that we brought her home from the hospital, we put her in her 
bassinet to sleep and we just put her in a, one of the Amazon swaddles and she almost rolled over and it terrified me. And then she just slept on my chest for like the next three weeks of her life because I was terrified. But I also really love with the Dreamland one, you can have their arms down and zip it over them or there's like little buttons that you can do at the sides to where they can have their arms out if they want, which I might try that. I don't think I've tried that yet. But don't feel like you have to spend that much money because the Dreamland ones are very expensive, I will say. But swaddles, essential. She definitely like gets the best sleep when she is swaddled. And then next for bath time, we got the flower bath. It's this flower that the petals connect so it keeps it together and then you just set it in the sink, fill the sink up a little bit. It is so nice and handy and also it's so freaking cute. Now she's like grown out of it kind of so she's too big to take baths in the sink so we moved it to the bathtub and we still have like three of the petals connected but we just unhooked the fourth one and so she kind of sits up in the three and then just is laying out on the last petal so even though she like is grown out of it like how it's supposed to be used or maybe you can use it like this too i don't know but we just kind of made it work for her she loves bath time though too so i love that she can still have her feet and legs laid out on the petal and like kick and she's not actually like kicking the bottom of the bathtub she like has padding there so yeah super adorable next is the four moms mamaru i believe i have an older version so i don't think i can link the one that i have but it's very similar to the new one that is out the swing that you can like do different ways and it has a sound machine with it she is in this at least once a day this will literally just like put her right to sleep most of the time and it's so handy just like to go to the kitchen to get dishes done or whatever i'm needing to do if i'm needing to edit and this is a swing that it's like stationary we don't ever move it because it's like obviously a bigger swing so we only put her in it when we're like around her but then a smaller swing that we have i typically keep it in back in our bathroom because that's the swing that i put her in when i shower or when i'm like trying to get ready but this swing it's also from Popovlic. we got it as a set with the bassinet this one's more portable so you can like pick it up and take it around from room to room with you if you want to but I really like this swing too as well because it also has a lot of different sounds that you can do but also you can play music i believe you can hook up your aux to it um, which you can with the mamaru as well and it also came with a little canopy thing so if you take it outside it like can keep the bugs and stuff out of it so really love that again if you want to look into that i don't know if my code is still active but i'll leave it here just in case it is and then next is a play gym we have a little donut one which is so freaking adorable we just recently got this like not too long ago i wish i would have got it sooner i just needed something for her to lay in to where she could look up and like have individual play and like sensory and stuff. It doesn't make noise or anything, which I know she's probably gonna get into that here soon and we'll probably have to get another one. But I love this donut one. It's so freaking cute. And she was literally like half a donut because that's all I ate when I was pregnant basically. But I'll also link some other play gyms that I have found are very popular. Like the Fisher Price one I think is very popular. It like plays music and stuff. This one doesn't. So if you're interested in that, I'll definitely link those down below as well. Well, and then next is our car seat. I love our car seat and our stroller so much. They are both from Graco. Our car seat is just lightweight. I love how easy it is to like get out of the vehicle, to clip in on the stroller. A lot of people like recommend the Duna car seat, but that is so bulky and it looks so low. And it's just personally not something that I want. So I knew that I wanted to go with Graco because my friend had this one and I loved it. And also the stroller as well. They're compatible with each each other and with the stroller you can put the car seat in it but it also came with a bassinet that you can lay in it and then the bassinet also changes into like a toddler seat so literally we're gonna have the stroller forever and then I feel like it's really handy to have like a car seat mirror in your vehicle or a car seat camera so like you put the mirror or the camera on the back headrest facing your baby so that when you're driving you can look back and see your baby is so freaking handy. I would really like a camera, but for right now we just have a mirror, but eventually I think we might switch to a camera. But the mirror that we have is nice and big and it's just very handy, especially for like when I'm traveling by myself. It's just very like comforting being able to see like what they're doing back there. And then I also love these mini blankets, if you can see, it's like just super tiny. They're literally the most perfect car seat blankets and like stroller blankets because they're not so 
big and like hang out the sides and stuff. They're just like the perfect size for her and for the car seat. I have two of them. I have this one and then I have a bright pink one. They're the best blankets and they are so soft. And then next you need a car seat cover. These are so helpful to have like when it is very windy outside. We use them quite a bit because it's always windy here it feels like. So it's just nice to throw on over and then not have to worry about her sucking in air because your car seat's covered, you know? And then lastly on the list, for newborn essentials is a nail file kit. This is like a little drill that we have. It is so nice, like it does not hurt at all. Like I do it on my finger, obviously to test it and stuff. There's no pain at all. It doesn't bother her when I do it. She literally just like lays there and doesn't seem bothered by it at all so it's so nice it just like files her nails down to where they're not sharp or anything so definitely love that next i'm going to go into postpartum slash nursing essentials that i really loved first off the mom cozy pump i love this pump so much it is so good it's the m5 so it's portable and it is so easy to use i was very intimidated by it at first until i tried it but once you do it you'll just have the hang of it right away I literally use it when I'm driving, when we're going on walks, like it's just so nice. I have a portable one and I also have a stationary one that plugs into the wall. And a lot of people say that those work way better for them. But honestly, the portable one I feel like works better for me. I get more out when I use it versus just sitting using my stationary one. But my stationary one is like 20 years old almost. My aunt gave it to me when she had her first kid. So that could be it, I don't know. But yeah, huge fan of my mom cozy pump. And then I also love the milk bags that we use. These are obviously essential if you are trying to build a supply in your freezer. Like once I pump, I pour it into a bottle and like stick it in the fridge and once I get enough supply built up then I pour the milk into a storage bag and then that is how I freeze it and it's easy to like write the date on it how much you pumped the time just whatever and then next is something that was definitely going to go on my waste of money category for this video but my husband actually <laughs> taught me how to use this correctly and it is the haka I love our haka at first uh, I hated it I thought it was so dumb it just got in the way it didn't stay but that was before I realized that it suctions to your boob. I did not know that. I just thought you set it there for some reason, but no, you actually have to suction cup it to your boob and it just works so well. I love this because if I don't get to pump at a certain time and I'm like really full, like you just put this on the boob that she's not feeding off of and it catches all the letdown and it's just another easy way to like help collect breast milk. I hear so many moms like don't even pump because this thing works out for them since they are like an oversupplier or whatever. And even if you're not an oversupplier, I am definitely not. Like I feel like I am an undersupplier. I still get a good one to two ounces almost every time. So it's very, very convenient. And then nursing bras. I actually just got a new one that I use when I use my stationary pump because it does not stay on by itself like I have to sit there and hold it so I got a bra that is a pumping bra so like I just set it in there and it holds it for me so I really like that bra and it also is a nursing bra so you can use it to nurse as well the ones I really like are just the like sports bra ones it's just like a sports bra but it's easy to like pull your boob out which I'm wearing it now my arm is falling asleep and then next kind of going back to like freshly postpartum. It's the Freedom Mom postpartum kit. This was so nice, especially the fact that it like can turn into like its own little caddy that you can put up on top of the toilet. In this kit, you get like cooling wipes, you get some boxer brief shorts. I literally used everything in this kit right when I was like the first week of postpartum. It was so nice. I also got the upside down peri bottle because that thing is just so handy. You will get one in the hospital, but it's just a bottle. It's not an upside down one. The upside down one is just so much easier and it's game changing. I just recently packed all my postpartum stuff away and it's so weird that like I'm not gonna be using that again until our next baby, which is just so crazy. The next thing is Depends. I will say that if you do get the Freedom Mom postpartum kit, you do get like four pairs of boy shorts in there, which those are really nice. I liked those, but honestly, Depends are just gonna be your best friend. They're so much more comfortable. They're so soft and I feel like they 
are less expensive than the Freedom Mom boy shorts ones. Honestly, I thought I was gonna just want to do the boy shorts ones because they're honestly kind of cute as well, but Depends are just, ugh, they're just so good. So don't skip your Depends, get them. They're comfortable, not the stylish, but they are gonna do the job. And then I have postnatal pills, which I feel like have just like helped my postpartum. Anxiety, depression, all that stuff, just so good. I think you can still take prenatal pills once you're like postpartum but I do the ritual postpartum pills and I love them you can get a lemon flavor or a mint flavor and I've done both I like both but I prefer the lemon but definitely do something because you got to take care of yourself as well with all those hormones still going on in your body and then lastly I get the sunflower light piscine. I can't remember what it's called but they're the pills that help prevent clogged ducts and stuff like that you can take them every day to use as a preventative or if you don't want to do that, you can just take them when you actually have clogged ducts, which, I mean, why wouldn't you want to prevent that? I saw Allison Cush recommend these when she had mastitis or clogged ducts, I don't know. And she said that these were game changing. So as soon as she said that, I hopped on it and ordered them because I am not trying to mess around with that pain. But yeah, I love these. So, so good. All right. And then the last little category that I'm going to share with you guys is the things that I feel like I wasted my money on. And honestly, this personally is just my opinion I know a lot of these things work for so many other people and that is great but just personally these are the things that didn't really work for me and they might work for me next pregnancy or postpartum whatever or next baby but just this current baby and this postpartum journey I just wouldn't spend my money on it again and first are the silverette nipple shield cup things I did not use these up until I started using my stationary pump this pump doesn't have flanges because it just uses a mode where it like sucks your nipple into the I don't even know what they are the cups that they have and so you can't like change out the flange and I also feel like I turned the power up too high on it so like after I got done the first time my nipples hurt so bad which I don't have sensitive nipples like before I did this literally nursing never even hurt my nipples whatsoever so I'm very blessed for that but I had heard everybody and their mom recommend these silver nipple shields because they just said they were game-changing with nursing and stuff because once you're done nursing it just helps not have your bra rubbing against like your sensitive sore nipples so I bought them thinking that I was going to use them and going to need them and I didn't because I just wasn't in pain and they are so expensive if they weren't so expensive I feel like they would just be very handy to have like I have I spent like almost $75 on them and that's ridiculous like I feel like that's so much but just for as little as I use them I think I've maybe used them under 10 times so to spend $75 on them that's just crazy to me but I do hear that everybody else loves them so if you have sensitive nipples or think you are going to need them definitely look into them they might have a dupe brand or an off brand on Amazon that's cheaper that you can get but the actual silverette ones are expensive and I'm not going to pay for them again and then next is a nursing pillow I loved having a nursing pillow but I feel like the one that we got is too small so it like doesn't fit around me and it's just more in the way than what it was helping um, it's easier just to like prop a pillow under my arm or like pile a blanket under my arm to help feed her and stuff or Jared went to Dollar General and got me like this goes behind my back and it kind of has arms like that thing works better than the nursing pillow I feel like and then next I actually returned these I sent these back because I just didn't use them. They're the lactation massagers. They honestly look like something else. Uh, they were laying on my counter. Time and Jared walked in and was like, what the heck are those? And also my brother saw them too. And was like, I wasn't gonna ask, but they're actually lactation massagers. It's like a vibrator, a heating thing. Like you can use it to warm up your milk and stuff before you pump or before you nurse to like get a good release of milk. I think I used it like once and I just never picked them up again so I just returned them and then the last item that I'm going to share that is just I didn't personally spend the money on this because we got it from our baby shower but it's a wipe warmer and I can tell you we've literally not used this one single time I thought this is gonna be something that I absolutely needed for her but honestly she does not care which is the weirdest thing because she hates being cold that's really the only time she cries is like when we're getting out of the bath and she's cold but Honestly, <laughs> we just haven't used the wipe warmer. It's kind of nice in the middle of the nights to 
use colder wipe because it wakes her up especially when we're having to wake her up to feed her she falls asleep all the time in the middle of feedings like she is now um, she only ate one side and is just like sleeping now um so in the middle of the night it's really nice to feed her and then i'll change her diaper and then use the wipe to like wake her up so that she is ready to eat on the next side but i know all babies are different some babies need a wipe warmer i understand that and maybe our next baby will but her she doesn't care oh man that was a lot of talking so yeah, that is all of my newborn essentials, postpartum, slash nursing essentials, slash things that I feel like I wasted my money on. I hope this video was helpful for you. And if you're trying to decide what to get for your newborn or postpartum journey, again, everything's gonna be linked down below in the description. Um, or if you want just easy access, you can go to my storefront and search that way. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. I respond to all my comments so let's chat if you haven't already make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me and i guess until next time i will see you in my next video bye guys thanks for watching go out and make the world smile